Education, Polk County Schools, Superintendent Bill Miller and family, I welcome you to today's celebration. In our 12 years together, I might have seen him twice. <laughs> I'm really not sure if it was Mr. Miller, a blur, or a poltergeist. <laughs> but the documents got signed as he flew by my desk on his way to a meeting, a school, or a problem to assess. As Mr. Miller's assistant, I soon came to see that he was the chairman of every known state, local, and national committee. It has been my pleasure to play sidekick to the facilitator all these years. He has never been one to shy away from something that is new, innovative, challenging, difficult, and even sometimes frightening. Were it not for his leadership, we would not have the Chinese language and culture program. We would not have A-plus schools. We would not have the school farm. We would not have the biodiesel curriculum. Innovation comes with risk. Mr. Miller has never been averse to risk. If it meant that the young people enrolled in the Polk County Schools were to be the ultimate beneficiaries. There are two mantras that hang, one in his office and one in the boardroom, that have always guided him in his entire life as a public school educator, whether it was as a teacher, principal, superintendent, consultant, whatever. The one that is in his office reads, let us put our minds together to make better lives for children. The one in the boardroom simply says, doing what's right for students. And that is what this man has done for 30 plus years. He has done what is right for students. It never has been about anything other than the young people. He's a big idea guy. He has had the good fortune to surround himself with people like Dr. Engel, and Mr. Green, and others who are of a more practical bent and can take his wild dreams and actually make them work. How do you quantify more than 30 years of service to students, schools, and community? How do you give Bill Miller the recognition and accolades he deserves? How do you show him what a significant impact he's made on all of us and on our community on a few hours on a Sunday afternoon? We can help him understand that he has served and inspired thousands upon thousands. We can let him know his legacy of vision, leadership, and selflessness are now the standard for us all, a blueprint for how to truly serve others. We can use this example to carry on his work and passion. Mr. Miller, you put a quote on your wall when you took over as superintendent. Let us put our minds together and seek a better life for every child. Your fearless and steadfast dedication to this challenge has resulted in a decorated and successful career. More importantly, you have accomplished what you set out to do long ago. You have improved the lives of students year after year after year. You've made a lasting mark on all you have served. When I was trying to decide about retiring, I've done the right thing or the wrong thing, and talked to the board about it, the people in the public didn't really know. And it was one of those days right after that, it was a snow day, and I can't remember if it was snowing, and I said, don't go to school, or it wasn't snowing, and I, I, can't, I can't remember what it was. But I stopped by one of our local expert stations that morning, and uh, those of you that, that know me know I like to stop by sometimes service stations in the morning, different things around the county to hear what the local experts have to say. It's a good, good place of information. For those of you who don't know, there's a lot of experts out there in those places. And um, so I, I was there. And I was getting some gas. This guy was, I was getting some gas. It's real early in the morning, like 6 o'clock or something. And uh, so... Uh, I said to the guy, how's it going? He said, well, it's not going too good. I said, you know, that superintendent we got in Polk County, he's a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, well, he sure is. <laughs> uh, so he said, uh, you know, I don't really do it. Never can't get a ride about going to school this that other thing. I said, well, you're going to have to worry. I don't think he's going to be here that much longer. <laughs> board members that I've, I've worked with. It's just been a wonderful uh, experience. I tell people all over the state to try to figure out how Pope Schools is so successful. 
But you know, I've never ever heard a political discussion in a Polk County Schools Board meeting. And uh, that is very, very unusual across the state if you go across it very much and you know much about it. We're real fortunate to be in a place where we're supported so much by our commissioners. And thanks certainly to all the teachers and administrators and people I've had the opportunity to work with. It's been, it's been a great experience. And we're so fortunate here to have people that we do here as far as educators go. It's my pleasure really to be part of a school system where I grew up and in the community where I grew up. And a community that supported me and helped me as, a, as I came along. It's a special place. It really is. Okay, school, I really believe it's a really, really special place. Um, it's special because of the, the, the families and, and students that we have that, that really believe in education. And most of our families want their students to get a good education and, and do better in life. We're lucky to have a community uh, of taxpayers and businesses and foundations that uh, really support public education like they do in this community, and that is not the norm everywhere. And we're really fortunate that Aaron Green is going to be coming on because that is his focus, students. And uh, that's, that's really important. And we're, we're fortunate here to, to have that. I miss walking into school and seeing students and interacting with them. But I, I think most of all, um, I'll probably miss high school graduation. I know everything's going to go good as we move forward in the school system. Goes I know everything.